Happy Vlogmas! I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. It has flamingos on it. And my day sucks. It does suck. I've had the most frustrating day. Can you talk about stuff that bothers you during Vlogmas? I'm so sick of that term. Do I have to keep saying it for another, what, 10 days? It's dumb. I have had the most aggravating day. I'm, I've been working this morning and I knew an email went out yesterday. We are updating blah, blah, blah software overnight. We are doing this to improve efficiency and speed for you. And I thought, oh God, this is going to be bad, isn't it? You're going to have to restart your computer in the morning. Okay. Well, I'm remote. I used to be able to restart the remote computer from home, but I no longer can because during another update, they did away with that feature. Now I have to contact somebody at the firm to do it for me because that's way more convenient than what we were doing. Well, anyway, there's this certain type of software that we use and they were gonna update it last night. It was the document management software. You know, that's not the name of it, that has a name. So they were going to update it overnight to make it more efficient, you know, make everything better. Oh, no. Oh, oh honey, no. I logged in this morning. Well, first of all, I had, to, I had to contact one of the IT people, the information technology people. I had to contact one of the IT guys and say, can y'all restart my machine down there? Okay, yes, we can. They restarted it. They said, okay, your document management software should work fine. Well, no, it did not. It was busted, and that's the only, I, I have been working with computers for over 20 years, but I, I don't get into technical jargon. If it's busted, I'm just gonna tell you it's busted. It's busted, will you fix it, please? So there's there's this one guy, we'll call him Brian. That's not his name. I, so Brian is the one I deal with the most. Brian is probably sick of me by now because I have to talk to him so frequently because there's always some problem. So I called Brian after he restarted the my computer. I said, Brian, it's busted. He said, what are you talking about? I said, it's still not working. He said, well, it should be working. I said, but it's not. Well, it should be, but it's not. And we went around three times. I said, Brian, stop. We're, our needle is stuck. Listen, I, I understand what you're saying. I hear you. It should be working, but it isn't. And you can't ask me if I restarted my computer because you literally restarted it for me. So that, you know, I know that's your go-to question when I tell you something's busted. Did you restart? Well, I can't restart anymore because after the last update, y'all did away with my ability to do that. They're trimming trees. I've, I've got caution cones. I'm paying attention. I can't restart it. You had to restart it. He said, well, there's a workaround for people that are not able to access the thing, the document management software. I said, okay, cool. So he said, I'm, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of instructions. I'm gonna have to email them to you. Okay, thank you. Well, I can't do my job without being able to access my documents. I can't do anything but sit there with my thumb up my butt, just you know, making zero dollars an hour because I don't get paid if I'm not getting any work done. So I'm annoyed. And he sends me the email and I open this email up and I, I am not kidding you. There were 32 steps to access my documents. I had to go through 32 steps to get to my documents. I said, are you kidding me right now? What is, how is this better than yesterday? I could just open the software, click, click and get to my stuff. What is this happy horseshit? 32 steps. What in the world? Well, it's because your your system is down, blah, blah, blah. Is it gonna be better when it's back up? It should be instilling a lot of confidence, you know. And so, so I do the 32 steps and I get to my documents. And I had to go through the 32 steps three more times because in order to access, like say I wanna attach a document to an email, well, you still have to use the document management software to do that. I had to go through the 32 steps again. If you're uploading something to the patent office to be filed, you have to go through the 32 steps again. So, 
that's what I've been doing this morning. And not only that, but every time they do an update, my computer is so slow for several days to the point where you try to do anything you know, normally I can go click, click, you know, and it just, the computer moves as fast as I do. I'm lucky where I am. I have, um, I have uh, fiber optic internet and it's super duper fast and I love it. I'm at the post office. I got to go mail something. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I have an eBay package here. That was funny too. Um, so I'm having to go through all these steps and everything is so slow, like uploading stuff is slow, opening an email is slow, opening a document is slow. And, it, and it's been like that all morning and it's slowly driving me crazy because I work at a certain speed and this, this right here is not my speed. So it is slowly driving me crazy. It reminds me, if you've ever seen the movie Zootopia, it's actually a really good movie. I love that movie. There's this one scene where the two main characters have to go to the DMV and the DMV is run, it's managed, and the employees of the DMV are all sloths. And they, it, I'm gonna put a link in the description to that clip because it is it is one of the funniest scenes in that whole movie where they go in and they have to deal with the sloths. My computer right now is like one of those sloths. That is how fast it moves. And I got frustrated and I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna deal with it anymore. It was taking me forever to get anything done I hate it when they do updates and they improve stuff. Every time they improve stuff, it gets worse. Like, will you quit improving things? I don't know if they're just trying to justify their job or what they're doing, but like, if you just leave it alone, I'd be happy. You don't need to keep doing this. Because every time you fix it, it gets worse. Anyway, that's been my morning. And uh, so I got done what I had to do. I've still got plenty to do. I'm still backed up with work. I've still got tons of work. I've just decided not to worry about it too much. Do you, do you realize Christmas is a week from Saturday? I've been working like every day except last Thursday. It just hit me yesterday. I, I said, oh my God, Christmas is a week. It's like next week. What? I, mm, no, I, I am not ready. I am not ready for Christmas. My kids are going to be home. This is their last week of school before winter break. They're going to be home every day next week. <sighs> Dang it. So I'm going to have to work with them there. And they, they constantly just orbit through the kitchen where I work. They just There's always at least one of them just orbiting through all the time. And they'll come in and look in the refrigerator and look in the cabinets. And I'm going, it's the same food that was in here 10 minutes ago. What are you looking at? What do you want? Can you go give me something to eat? You got an Arby's, which it doesn't work with my older son now. I said, you got a mo you've got money and a car. You got a job, you got money and a car. Go get Arby's. I don't want it bad enough to go get it. Well, I certainly don't want it bad enough to go get it for you. I don't even want any. I wish I had a nickel for every time I've had that conversation. Will you go to McDonald's? Will you go to Wendy's? No, go to yourself. I'm trying to work. And then my younger son is down there on the Xbox talking to his friends and on the little Judy the Time Life Lady little headset microphone thing, <laughs> like Madonna. And then he gets louder and louder. I have to constantly tell him to keep it down. I said, you don't have to scream at them. They can hear you. So that's my life. And then my kitten constantly coming to the back door. She wants me to let her in, let her out, let her in, let her out. I'm like her little doorman at the back door. She's, I said, if I ever get another job in an office, you're going to hate it because there's not going to be anybody here to let you in and out of the house every five minutes. I was interrupted less when I worked in an office compared to what I deal with at home. But I'm hoping, I don't know, my computer will probably be just as slow when I get back home. But I figured i got to go to the post office. I've got a, a package here that I have to go put in the mail. And i got a few things to drop off at Goodwill. Um... And then I'll go back home. Actually, I might go to Aldi because it's Wednesday and they've restocked the Isle of Shame. And I don't remember what they were putting out this week, but I might, I don't really have time to go up there, but I may go to, I may go to Aldi. I don't know. Um, I'm making a, a video. It's kind of like a night and day sort of thing for my other channel. I'm going to show you some of the Christmas decorations in the downstairs part of my house. The upstairs doesn't have anything. It's just our bedrooms and stuff. 
I'm going to show you what it looks like during the day, and then I'm going to show you again at night with all the lights on and everything, and I'm going to do a voiceover for that. Because, at least for the daytime part, my washer and dryer were running the entire time, and, you know, the sound of my washing machine with the unbalanced load and the clankety-clank sound doesn't really instill Christmas cheer in me, and I didn't imagine it would do it for anybody else. So, I will do a voiceover for that. I got a really cute video of Pumpkin sitting on the stairs. There's this, okay, so I have these little windows on the top of my front door, and there, there's a certain period of time during the day when the sun shines right on the steps going upstairs, and Pumpkin will come down and sit right where the sunshine is on the step, and she has to keep moving as the sun moves, <laughs> but when she sits down there and she's in the sunshine, her eyes are just so blue. Normally, they're all dilated because she's, for some reason, she's just constantly freaked out. That's, she's very high strung, and she's just terrified all the time. She has no reason to be, she just is. But when the sun, you know, the bright, the sun is that bright, her eyes are not dilated and you can see just how blue they are and it's very pretty. So I got a little bit of video of her sitting on the steps and my, my little decorations and stuff. So I thought I would show it to you in the daytime and then do another video showing you some of it at night because it looks so pretty with the lights and everything at night. So, and I'm gonna do a voiceover for that. And uh, I've got another exercise class. I did survive the step aerobics class. I did not fall down. I was proud of myself. I didn't trip, I didn't fall, I didn't hurt myself. Although I did hurt myself earlier today because I had this bag of bows that somehow got pushed way up under my bed and I had to like army crawl up under my bed to go get it. And I hit my head, I have a metal bed frame and I thought I was backed all the way out. And I have a bit of trouble with claustrophobia, so I'm backing out of there really fast. And I raised up too soon and I hit my head on the, that frame. And so now my, the back of my head is sore and I'm grouchy about it. But I got, I did get the bows, so that was cool. Um, but oh, I was gonna tell you about my eBay package. Yeah, this is a, an Air Jordan hoodie. I don't really sell a lot. I don't really sell much of anything on eBay anymore. I used to do a lot, but it's really not worth your trouble anymore. But every now and then I'll find something at a thrift store or I'll have something and I'll put it on there, you know, see if I can make a dollar off of it or whatever. And I had this hoodie that I found in a thrift store. Um, it's really nice. Well, somebody a couple of days ago put in an offer on it. I think I was asking $24.99 for it. And somebody made an offer of 18. I said, whatever. And I accepted the offer and they paid immediately. I said, oh, cool, all right. And then right after they paid, they sent me a message and said, oh, this was a mistake. Sorry, I need a refund. I said, you went through a lot of steps to make a mistake. That's like people who say they accidentally took this perfect selfie. Oh, I dropped my phone and it accidentally took this picture. Just say you took the picture. What do you? Nobody thinks that you did that on by accident. Just stop. It's just stupid. Hey, so you, you made an offer on this item. I accepted it. And you immediately paid. You went through all these steps accidentally. What kind of special idiot? Anyway, I, gave, I, I said, you know what? Yeah, that was a lot of steps for an accident or whatever. And I gave their money back. And, and I relisted the hoodie. And then it sold again, but it was a different person because I blocked that person. Like, I don't want you bidding all my stuff anymore. Um, it sold almost right away to somebody totally different. So, and they didn't message me saying it was a mistake. So, I'm going to go drop it in the mail. It's already got the, I've already purchased the postage and I just have to drop it off. And then I'm going to go back home and, and um, try to work. And then I have to record two segments to go with the Christmas video for my regular channel. I have to do it, I have to plan these things in advance, like put on makeup, my Christmas sweater, and look, you know, not like a salty sea hag for those two little clips because later today I have an exercise class and when I record the nighttime stuff, I'm gonna look like a salty sea hag, but you're not gonna see me because I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna be hot and sweaty, my hair's gonna be a mess. I will not be dressed like this anymore. Um, so you have to plan this stuff in advance. I have to go ahead and record those two clips. 
I can do the voiceover looking however I want to because you're not going to see me in the voiceover. Dang lady. That heifer, she just parked right beside me. She was scooting out. She rubbed her booty on my car trying to, like she got out of her car and turned around to shut the door. She rubbed her butt on my car. Well, Merry Christmas to you. People are just, ugh. There was no, I mean, she pulled in really close to me and it's not, I am dead center in my spot. Now she's not, like she's over the line and she's got like a, a gnat's ass amount of room between my car and hers. And she opened the door and then she shimmied out and then turned to shut the door and she rubbed her butt on my, my car. This is why I don't like going out in public. That's why I stay home so much. Stupid. All right. Everything's stupid. The whole world's stupid. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go do the stuff. I may go to Aldi and peruse the Isle of Shame for a minute before I go home. Lord, she's coming back. I wonder if she'll do it. Where are you going? She's going to the passenger side. Oh, she's going over there to talk to somebody. Well... I kind of want to see if she's going to do the booty scoot on my car again. I mean, I know it could use a good buff, but that's not how I want to get it. I don't want to get it from your backside. My son texted me this morning and said that he saw a tiny crack in his driver's side window. He said it doesn't appear to go all the way through, but I said, yeah, you can't play with, with cracks. You got to get them fixed. So maybe over winter break, we can take it and get it, get that fixed. It's always something. It's always something. Well, I'm not going to wait around for her. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. It's Vlogmas again. <sighs> I feel like I need to be drinking hot chocolate or something. Showing you my scarf collection or taking you shopping for ornaments. That's just not my life, though. That's not my life. Shit, my life this year has been work, 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 work every freaking day. Like, Christmas is sneaking up on me because I don't have time for it. I still got to plan a trip to my dad's house. I haven't even thought about that. Um, God, I don't know. Ugh. I hope you have a wonderful day in the midst of Vlogmas. And, uh, I don't know. I, I will see you again soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching people like I don't know why I'm just watching y'all can't see the people I'm looking at have a wonderful day it is Wednesday and I will see you again soon